Hi all, this is Jace, and I wanted to share something with y'all. I had the opportunity over this fall to visit The Ripped Bodice, which is a romance-only bookstore. There are two locations, actually, one in LA and one in New York, and I was able to get to the one in New York in Park Slope, Brooklyn. Super easy to get to, just two blocks away from a train stop or a subway stop, depending on what words you're going to use for that. And I wanted to show you what I got wandering around that store. I had nothing in mind. There was nothing I was really desperate to get. I just wanted to see what appealed to me and what was the vibe of this store that I've heard so much about. So the first thing that happened is I ended up with too many books and I didn't have a bag enough, a bag big enough to bring them all home with me. So I just had to get a tote bag. You have to get a tote bag. And it looks like this. I think it's adorable. It's got a lot of little trope books. They've made up names and titles. Adorable. There's a plant. I don't know if you can tell, but I like a plant. Um, and so that's really fun. And now I have a tote bag that's colorful and silly and a little ironic. Now, the first thing that I got from them is their 50 romance novel list. They came up with a list of 50 romance novels that they suggest. And I was really curious, like, how did I, how did I link up with their suggestions? And while I certainly didn't, I don't have all of these on my list. I haven't read all of them. I will say that I had a good number. And if I didn't have of the book that they recommended, I usually had, or I've had books similar, or there were even ones where I was like, oh, I've read something else by that author. But something to go to, a little bit of direction in the TBR. Some of the books I have, some of these books I don't have. I know that if you go to their website, they have them all listed so you can easily access them. So that was number one. And then I actually, my favorite thing that I found there was a section about the romance novel genre. And that's where it got a little bit meta and that's where I was like immediately into my hands. And so those books were, oh goodness, where are you? Oh, the first one is Black Love Matters. Um, as I mentioned, I'm really passionate about diversifying the books that I read and therefore the algorithms and therefore the books that I talk about because Love stories need to be inclusive of all people who love, and this is very important. So I'm very intrigued to see how uh, this book resonates with me and what I learned from it. Then there is the Happily Ever After romance story in pop culture. I'm very excited to to kind of like see from a, a, an educational perspective, like what does this look like? And then this book is, it's written by one of the owners, B, and Mad and Bad, real heroine of the Regency. You know I love a bodice ripper. I do. I love a ball gown. I love a man without feelings. I love a carriage ride. <laughs> So I am very excited to read about that from this lens. So those books, they don't even count, right? Like I got them and I was like, these don't even count as romance novels. They aren't romance novels. They're just about romance novels. Like that means I have way more space to actually buy romance novels. So then we have Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. And I actually read this book from the library um, when I read it the first time. And it was a book that I was like, I'm going to have to read that one again. Like it is very complex. It's very silly. There are a lot of characters. I really like it. I know there are more in the series. So I'm very excited to kind of to have my own copy of it to draw my own notes in. So that was that was one that I was really loving about. Dead Romantics. This is a book that's been talked about and I haven't read it yet. So I was really excited to see it and thought, you know, why not? It was in their, their queer section. And, and I love that. They have really beautiful sections. Like most romance novels, uh, most stores, they have sections, but they're all romance. So you've got your Regency, you've got your queer, you've got your paranormal, you've got your contemporary, they have an erotica section. 
really a lovely layout of the space and it, it made walking through really fun and you know like wh where was I going to find certain books and I just I really appreciated that. Then the Temple of Fortuna. I also love a Greek myth retelling. I do. Now the only bad part is I bought this book because I just like loved the look of it. I loved the story on the back but I didn't look down and realize that this is the third book in the series. So that means I have to get the first two, right? Like I just have to. That's what it means. Oops. <laughs> Next, I have Plot Twist. This was is a new release in just in the last couple weeks. So it was on a it was on a book. I I love kind of the meta like, "Oh no, I have to write a love story or I'm bad at sex and I need you to teach me." But like in an empowering way, um, I like it when we have conversations about bad sex because not all sex is good and not all sex with people you love is good. In, a, in like the episode of Jane the Virgin where she loses her virginity to her husband, like wasn't good sex. And that happens. So how do we deal with that? How do we work through it when our communication levels aren't there and our partners aren't mind readers because they aren't? So... I like the idea of this one. And then the last one, this, this is so funny. This was literally, it wasn't even on a shelf. I was looking uh, at the tops of book cases on the side. Like they have kind of their back stock on the top of their bookcases. And I saw this book. It wasn't on a bookshelf. I had to like pull a rolling ladder, Beauty and the Beast bell style to get this book and I climbed up the ladder to get it. It's called Filthy Rich Vampire. I Anything with a vampire, like the title alone sold me. I don't know if it's good, I have no idea. But with this title, I was like, sorry, that's, that's mine now. So that is my stash from The Ripped Bodice. I'd love to hear if you visited the store, if you chose any of these books that I have, if you have any suggestions, if you disagree that I have to buy the first three books or the first two books to, you know, read the third. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful time. Thank you for unveiling my stash with me. And this is Jace holding space for you. <laughs>